Thank you for clicking through to this video which is regarding the metering spring and bog down. This is number 9 of 12. I have uploaded the actual full 12 reasons in a previous video but I've broken them down just to make things a little simpler. So now let's say we've got the metering lever setting correct and my number 9 reason for bogging down is metering spring. So here's the metering spring and the trouble we normally have with metering springs are when we replace them. So We'll go out and buy a new diaphragm kit and we'll replace the diaphragms. And if there's no spring in with the diaphragm kit, sometimes what can happen is we can source springs from elsewhere. And those springs are not correctly sprung, if you like. They can be too hard, the spring can. This, of course, isn't so in all cases. And sometimes we can get the right spring by sourcing it from elsewhere. But I have had scenarios in the past where I have fitted springs that look identical to the one I've taken out in every way, but they're a little, a little less springy, if you like, they're a little stronger, and that's caused problems. Take a look at this scenario, for example. The diaphragm has come down to the back of the lever, and because that spring is too hard, it won't push the back of the lever down any further than this. And so we're not getting a full range of movement for the diaphragm. And what we're ending up with is this. The diaphragm's moving up and down, but we're only getting a small amount of movement there on the needle valve, which of course is not sufficient whatsoever. So again, it's another one of those scenarios where the diaphragm itself is in good order and it's working correctly, and the spacing between the diaphragm and the back of the lever is correct, and everything else is fine. But because that spring's not correct, we're getting the problems we're getting. We're not getting movement here on this needle valve to allow fuel to come up through and be sufficient enough to run the engine. I've just used the air and fuel in the centre of the carb there just to illustrate my next point, but in this scenario there wouldn't be that much available. But if the engine run at all then there might be enough for idling speed, but if you pull the trigger this is what would happen and open up the throttle there'd be less and less and less and less. And then of course as always as the engine demands more fuel, bog down. Again, thank you so much for watching this video on the metering spring and bog down. Please do check out my next video, which is number 10, on the barrel gasket or pot gasket and how it relates to bog down. Thank you for watching.